Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Pirates, the Traveler Check-In System, Refusing the Invitation of the Redhead at Start. Chapter 21. At only nine years old, he was far inferior to the strong Paddy in terms of stature, height and strength. So, no matter how hard he struggled, he couldn't get away from Paddy's hand holding his collar. Paddy hit Sanji directly on the head with the other hand, smelly brat. You must have quarreled with the guests again. How many guests have you left this month in anger? Do you know that because of your mess, we want less how much money do you make? Sanji refused to accept. Money, 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 you know money, can money fill your stomach? Paddy punched Sanji on the head again, isn't opening a restaurant just to make money? If you don't have money, where do you go to buy cooking ingredients? You idiot. Paddy taught Sanji a lesson, and carried him to the back kitchen. You little brat who can't do anything while eating and drinking, just wash the dishes for me. Whispering, you stinky cook. Ha, huh, you guys who want to be a stinky cook, you have no right to call me a stinky cook. Lin Mo silently watched Paddy carry Sanji into the back kitchen. The purpose of his coming here is to complete the sign in progress task. Obviously, Barati is only a dining ship for guests to eat, and it is impossible to have guest rooms for guests to live in. Unless, he stays here to work. After thinking about it, Lin Mo denied his idea. It is impossible to work part-time, and it is impossible for him to work for others in this life. Another option is to talk to Barati's captain and Chef Zip. Based on the previous experience in Frost Moon Village. Maybe talking to Zipu can trigger the check-in-progress task. Thinking of this, Lin Mo ate the last bite of food on the plate in front of him, and drank the last bite of wine from the wine gourd. Just about to get up and go upstairs to Jay Poo. At this time, Garp next to him suddenly threw a donut at him. Lin Mo turned sideways, raised his hand to easily grab the donut thrown by Carp, and looked at him speechlessly. Ha ha ha, Garp laughed loudly, you're pretty good, Lin Mo kid, do you want to consider joining the Navy? Forehead, this came up with an inexplicable invitation to him to join the Navy. So casual, no, Lin Mo directly refused, and threw back the donut that Carp threw to him. Carp laughed and caught the donut thrown back by Lin Mo, and then took a bite, it's illegal to spoil and waste food in Barati. Lin Mo was speechless, you were the one who threw the donut over first, okay. Carp continued to laugh, ha ha ha, kid, don't rush to make a decision, think about it carefully. As a lieutenant general whose strength is higher than that of a general, although Carp is usually not serious, in fact, his vision of people is quite vicious. In fact, from the first time he saw Lin Mo, he noticed that this taciturn kid was not simple. One of the opportunities that made him admire Lin Mo completely was the wine Lin Mo drank. Although it didn't smell very strong, but the unique flavor mixed with the faint scent of cherry blossoms and some special grains made him sure that this kid had definitely been to the Yixin Dojo in Shuangyu Village. Garp had been to Shimayu Village on official business before, and he happened to be in Yixin Dojo for two days. Koshiro entertained him to drink this kind of wine brewed with special techniques and materials. When he was leaving, Carp asked Koshiro for this kind of wine, but Koshiro refused to give him an extra pot. But now, this kid actually has this wine in his gourd. It can be seen from this that Koshiro is very optimistic about this child. As for the other opportunity that made Garp admire him, it was a small sailboat parked outside for only one or two people. The style of the sailboat was unique to Windmill Village, and he recognized it immediately. That's why he asked Lin Mo if Barati came here alone. When Lin Mo admitted that he came here alone, it also basically shows that the small sailboat is his. Reminiscent of when I was on the phone with Hongfa before, Hongfa said that he met a kid who might disturb the world in the future. Looking at it now, there is a good chance that the kid in front of him is right. Based on Lin Mo's understanding of carp, this guy is not going to take the initiative to invite people to join the Navy. Unless the person he invites has the potential he is extremely optimistic about. Obviously, the two of them met for the first time today. Didn't even say a few words. What else to think about? What is there for him to consider? Lin Mo said directly, I don't think about it, I refuse. Ha ha ha, Garp laughed loudly, little brat, you probably won't join Shank's pirate group, right? Shanks, Lin Mo glanced at him in surprise. How did this guy know he knew Shanks? 
Could it be that last phone call that Shanks told him? Wrong. Lin Mo denied this possibility. It's impossible for Shanks to do such a thing. Therefore, it is very likely that the old fox deduced it himself. As expected of Carp, Lin Mo didn't answer Garp's question directly, and wrote lightly, I'm just a traveler. Hey, Garp was stunned for a moment, then slapped the table and laughed loudly, ha ha ha, I'm so ridiculous, what kind of traveler are you, a brat? You have no future at all. It's great to be a navy. I have two grandchildren, one is a little younger than you, and the other is about the same age as you. From now on, the three of you will join me as a navy and maintain order and justice at sea together. The two grandsons mentioned by Garp, one is Luffy, his own grandson. The other is Ace, the son of the former One Piece King Gal D. Roger. So far, very few people know that Ace is Roger's son. Garp has always wanted Luffy and Ace to become the navy in the future. But both of them became famous big pirates in the sea in the end, which made Garp very angry. In short, no matter what Carp said, it was impossible for Lin Mo to shake his heart. Not interested in, Lin Mo put the meal money on the table. Go directly to the spiral staircase leading to the second floor. It happened that several chefs serving dishes came up to me. Seeing Lin Mo going upstairs. Immediately stop the road. Little ghost, you went wrong, the gate is over there. Upstairs is the kitchen and private room. Outsiders are not allowed to enter casually. If you want extra food, just call. Lin Mo was too lazy to talk nonsense with them. Just try Shunpo. While the two chefs were talking, he had already jumped past them lightly and quickly. Before the two chefs could even react, Lin Mo had disappeared. Hey, where's that brat just now? One of them asked in surprise. The other person shook his head and said, I don't know, what was in front of me just now suddenly disappeared. All of Lin Mo's movements were clearly seen by Carp. After all, he has never seen it with his own eyes, and he still has doubts about Lin Mo's strength. But Lin Mo's footwork just now made his eyes light up, and his speed of eating desserts slowed down. It was the first time he had seen such a peculiar footwork that could increase the speed of a person so quickly. This kid is really extraordinary. It's getting more and more interesting. Garp grinned, and continued to eat dessert. In just a few seconds, Lin Mo arrived outside the room where Jay Poo was writing the account book. Feel the breath at the door. Zap looked up towards the door. It turned out to be a brat he had never seen before. Little ghost, this is not the place for you to come, go back to the restaurant downstairs. After speaking, Zapu lowered his head and continued to write the account book. After a while, seeing that Lin Mo hadn't left yet, Jay Poo slapped the pen in his hand on the table, and said in a displeased tone, Hey, don't you understand me? As he spoke, Zep's two braided beards trembled with joy. In fact, before forming the sea restaurant, Zapu was a cruel and ruthless pirate. After experiencing the pain of almost starving to death with Sanji, the two decided to open a sea restaurant after they were rescued. Since then, he has not been as cruel as before, but his temper is still violent. Lin Mo stared at him silently without saying anything. There was the sound of hurried running in the corridor. Sanji saw Lin Mo at the door of Zapu's room from a long distance away. Isn't that a guest in the restaurant? What is he doing here? Sanji was stunned for a moment, and without thinking much, he quickened his pace, bump into each other. Lin Mo quickly moved a step to the side without being touched by him. What a strange person, Sanji muttered in a low voice, and then shouted at Zapu in the room, Stinky old man, when did you teach me how to cook? I won't do odd jobs anymore. Zap stared at Sanji sullenly, got up and walked towards him. Smelly brat. Zapu directly kicked Sanji out of his right leg with a prosthetic leg. You are like this, what right do you have to ask me for this? Continue to do chores for me. Zap's leg was broken to save Sanji before he and Sanji died. Sanji got up from the floor that was kicked more than 10 meters away, dissatisfied, you always say that, when will I be qualified to learn how to cook? Hey, Zapu didn't answer Sanji's question, but turned his attention to Lin Mo, and kicked him unceremoniously, and you. Enough watching the excitement, give me go back to the restaurant. Just when Zapu's prosthetic limb was about to hit Lin Mo. Lin Mo immediately used Shunpo to easily dodge his attack. A look of surprise flashed across Zapu's face, and he immediately chased after Lin Mo and attacked him continuously. 
Lin Mo kept dodging Zapu's attack with Shunpo. Shunpo, who is only LV1, can barely dodge. If Zapu is more serious, maybe he can really kick him. Red-footed Zap's nickname is not for nothing, his leg skills are quite powerful. Oh, brat, there are two tricks. Zapu narrowed his eyes slightly, his aura half opened, and he accelerated his speed. Lin Mo didn't want to do anything at first. Can be forced to this. He didn't intend to be passive all the time. Seeing that he couldn't dodge Zapu's next attack, Lin Mo's eyes moved slightly, and he applied the armed color to his hand. Grab Zap's fast attacking prosthetic in one go. Then, in the direction of Zapu's attack, he turned half a circle in place and threw it out. Just listen to the sound of, clang. Zap smashed a nearby wooden panel and fell into his room. Sanji, who was not far away, stared wide-eyed, unbelievable, it's a lie, the stinky old man was defeated by a kid about my age. Garp got up from a pile of sawdust with an ugly face, and glared at Lin Mo angrily, little brat, you actually broke my boat. Lin Mo shrugged and said, justifiable defense has nothing to do with me. Zapu said angrily, what self-defense, you damaged my boat, you will lose money. Lin Mo asked nonchalantly, how much? Zapu narrowed his eyes slightly, and said bluntly, 10,000 baileys. In the world of pirates, baileys can be regarded as a huge sum of money for an ordinary family. Apparently, it didn't take that much money to repair the siding that Zap had smashed. Before Lin Mo was in Fengche village and Shuangyu village, he would go hunting in the surrounding valleys and then exchange money to buy wine. He doesn't change too many each time, usually enough for his own use for a while. So, now he has less than a thousand baileys on him. Not enough to pay for Zep's lion's big mouth, 10,000 baileys so much. At this time, next to the kitchen, several cooks heard movement in the corridor. Immediately rushed out of the kitchen. When they saw a lot of sawdust on his body, a bruise on his face, Zapu looked a bit embarrassed. All of them became indignant. Boss, are you all right? Huh, what's going on here? What happened just now? Boss, who did it to you? Dare to hurt our boss, it is unforgivable. Who did it? I want to settle the score with him. Enough. Zapu yelled at the cooks, I'm fine, you go back to the kitchen and continue cooking for the guests. But, boss, you are injured, shall I go get you the medicine box? Boss, who did it? You tell us, we will never spare that person lightly. The cook still refused to go back. It's him. Sanji pointed to Lin Mo in the corridor, who seemed to have nothing to do with him, he did it, I saw it with my own eyes. The cooks all looked at Lin Mo. There was silence for a moment. Then burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, Sanji, what are you kidding? That brat is about the same age as you, right? The hair hasn't even grown yet, how could it hurt the boss? That's right, that brat, I can bounce him away with just one finger, Sanji, if you want to brag, let's start with a draft, ahahaha. Hey, what I said is true. Sanji said angrily, stinky old man, you said it, he was the one who knocked you away. With a sullen face, Zapu said angrily, if you don't go to work, get out of Barati. As soon as this sentence comes out, the cooks became restless, and hurried back to the kitchen one by one to start working. And you, Zapu stared at Sanji and shouted, if you don't want to get out, just wash the dishes for me. Ha, huh, Sanji was startled, no matter how much he complained in his heart, he could only obey obediently. No matter what, he can't leave Barati. Can't leave Zap. Clenching his fists tightly, Sanji went back to the kitchen and started to wash the dishes according to Zap's order. All of a sudden, there were only Jay Poo and Lin Mo left in the entire corridor. Hey, brat. Zapu patted the dust off his body and said expressionlessly, if you can't afford the compensation of Bailey's, stay and work. No, Lin Mo directly refused. It is impossible for him to work for others. Zapu frowned slightly. If you don't want to stay, just hand over the compensation. Lin Mo took out two money bags containing Bailey's each, and threw them to Zapu, these are enough for repairs. Zapu stared at the two purses in his hand with a sullen face, and narrowed his eyes slightly, it was you who broke my boat, and I have the final say on how much compensation should be paid. If I say these are not enough, it is not enough. You are a brat, I can relax a bit for you, stay here to work for two months, and then let you go. The situation in Barati is quite special. 
The cooks here are all warlike people. Pirates often come here to eat and make trouble, so the cooks here often fight with those pirates, causing many people who come to work here to be scared away. And every day, many people come to Balati to eat, and there are too few people, which makes everyone very busy. Therefore, Zapu's purpose at the beginning was not to really ask for so much money, but to want Lin Mo to stay and help. Lin Mo naturally thought of this too. Of course he wouldn't do what Zap wanted. Do not. Lin Mo refused again. At this time, in my mind, the system's notification sounded. Didi, reject Zapu's part-time job request, sign in progress plus 10%, the current total progress is 20%, and reward the new skill Yekai LV1. Single quote. Night Kai, Lin Mo's eyes flickered, and his heart was tight with joy. He knew that contacting Zapu could complete the progress of the sign-in task. But he didn't expect that the system would give out new skills. In Naruto, the skill that almost kicked out the finale. Yi Kai is the ultimate mystery of the eighth door of death in the eight gates of Dunjia. First, make a starting posture, gather chakra to rush up and kick the opponent with power beyond the common sense of physical skills, and its power is so powerful that it can even distort space. This skill can be said to be quite powerful. But there is a disadvantage of using Yi Kai, that is, you must burn your life to use it. This is what Lin Mo is more worried about. Lin Mo couldn't help asking in his heart, System, will my life be burned if I use Yi Kai? Didi, it will not burn life, and it will have no effect on the host below LV6 level in the early stage. If it exceeds LV6 level, it will consume a lot of chakra and stamina every time Yi Kai is used. Single quote. Heard, only then did Lin Mo feel a little relieved. Zapu saw that Lin Mo hadn't spoken, and since just now, his expression had been off, as if he had received some news that made him very happy. Hey, brat, Zapu said speechlessly, what are you doing? Are you listening to me? Do you think you are qualified to bargain with me now? Come back to your senses. Lin Mo calmed down. He raised his head and glanced at Zapu lightly. The corner of the mouth was slightly hooked. It's still the same sentence, I refuse. Zapu took a deep breath and attacked him again. Smelly brat, a man has to admit his mistakes and pay for his mistakes. I just want you to work for two months. I reject. This time, Lin Mo did not dodge. Rarely took the initiative to meet him and rushed towards Zapu. A faint red vapor emitted from Lin Mo's body. Just as the two approached. Kick out. Kicked hard at the prosthetic that Zap kicked out. Regardless of whether it is a prosthetic limb, the damage that its leg skills can cause is not small. In fact, from the moment Lin Mo's body began to emit steam, Jay Poo noticed something was wrong. When he was on the Great Route before, he encountered some powerful people who made him feel threatened. But these powerful people are generally over 20 years old. But this time, he actually felt a hint of threat from a child. At this moment, it was too late for him to withdraw his legs. The legs of the two hit each other, and they froze for three seconds. Then the two bounced off at the same time, and took several steps back. Zapu only used his strength. But for ordinary people, percent strength is enough to kick people away. Little devil, who are you? Zapu frowned slightly and asked, what was the name of that blow you just had? Lin Mo stretched his right leg, and wrote lightly, Yi Kai. Ha, huh, Zapu said speechlessly, is this the name of your move? Lin Mo nodded lightly, yes. Zapu was stunned. How could there be such a strange name move? However, strange is strange, but the kid in front of him made him look at him with admiration. Leg skills are Zapu's most proud physical skill besides cooking skills. At the beginning, many people were defeated by his leg skills, and his feet were stained red with blood. That's why he has the foreigner Zapu with red feet. No. What's your name, kid? Zap asked. Lin Mo. Okay, I accept the compensation you gave but you have to work in Bharati for at least one month. No, hey, Zapu frowned tightly, it's just ordering and serving the guests. You don't need to do chores in the kitchen. At this time, at the spiral staircase going down in the middle of the corridor, Garp's voice suddenly appeared, how much does that kid still owe you? Lin Mo and Zapu looked at Garp at the same time. Zapu was surprised, you are. Naval hero Garp. Garp bared his teeth and said with a grin, Redfoot Zap the former head of the chef pirates, and now the boss of Barati, even if you don't become a pirate, your bounty is still there, and I can still catch it. 
You. Zapu narrowed his eyes slightly, he knew that he was not Garp's opponent. Even so, he did not intend to obediently catch him, since you know that I drove Bharati, if you want to catch him, you have already caught him. Why wait until now? Garp continued to grin and said, I'm actually very talkative. If you let that brat go, I won't arrest you. Isn't this a good deal? He he. Jay Poo sneered, a brat, he can actually ask you, a naval hero, to rescue him in person. It seems that his identity is not simple. Ha ha ha. Garp laughed loudly, don't be so nervous, that brat is just an ordinary kid, I just had nothing to do, I was taking a walk after dinner, and I happened to see a poor, helpless kid being killed you bullied me, and the justice in my heart drove me to rescue this little devil from the dire straits. Zap, I believe you a ghost. Zapu was speechless, what do you want to do? Garp looked at Lin Mo and said with a smile, little devil, if I save you once, you owe me a favor. I don't ask for anything else, as long as you join the navy. Lin Mo stared at him speechlessly. What's the matter with Cap? Why do you keep staring at him? In fact, Garp noticed the movement upstairs after eating snacks in the restaurant. Driven by curiosity, I went upstairs. In the end, I happened to see the scene where Lin Mo and Zapu kicked each other. Redfoot Zap he knew. Although Zapu's strength is not as good as his, it is still very easy to deal with those young people who are overwhelmed. This time, he was able to tie a match with a brat. The main thing is, from the wooden sword hanging on Lin Mo's waist, it can be seen that this kid should be a swordsman. Instead of competing with Zapu with his good sword skills, he used his legs to respond to Zapu's attack. Garp immediately thought of a possibility, this brat wants to use what the opponent is good at to defeat the opponent. It's really arrogant. He admired this brat more and more. I almost understood why the red hair was so optimistic about this brat. For Kapuna's own decision, Lin Mo expressed that he was speechless, quite speechless. As for Zap, he discovered something interesting. Zapu smiled and asked, Garp, did you invite this kid to join the Navy before, but he rejected you? Garp touched his head and laughed. Ha ha ha, I'm really a little embarrassed. Zapu continued, However, looking at the boy's appearance, it seems that he is very unwilling to join the navy. If you force him to join, then what is the difference between you and those pirates who are extremely arrogant and will use any means to achieve their goals? Ha ha ha, you can't say that, who said I'm going to force him to join the navy? Carp looked at Lin Mo with a smile, little devil, I'll help you this time. In return, join the navy and we'll settle the matter. Before Lin Mo could answer, Zapu said, Little devil, I know you don't want to join the navy, so why don't you stay in Bharati, you don't need to do those chores, you can go wherever you want, and do whatever you want, as long as you don't make trouble, you can do whatever you want. Besides, how long do you want to stay here? It was obvious that Zap was deliberately confronting Garb. Hey, Zap, Garp said speechlessly, you guy, do you have to do this? Ha <laughs> ha, Zapu laughed loudly, I just gave this kid one more choice. As for which side he will choose, it depends on him. Hey, kid, what do you think of the choice I just mentioned? Lin Mo smiled lightly, okay. Jeputy's request is equivalent to that Lin Mo only needs to stay here, and he doesn't have to do anything. What's there to hesitate about? Of course I agreed. It is quite troublesome to pay back favors. He didn't intend to be led by the nose in this world because of his debts to anyone. Ha ha, I won. Zapu hooked his lips and smiled, I didn't expect that you, Garp, would be rejected one day. Cap was silent for a moment. Then he laughed out loud. He didn't seem to care at all that Lin Mo didn't choose his appearance. Ha ha ha, Garp laughed loudly, sure enough, he is an interesting kid. Since that's the case, then I have also decided to stay here for the time being. Whenever Lin Mo leaves, I will leave. Ha, huh. Zapu was shocked, for a kid, why not? Don't forget your identity, don't you need to catch pirates? Carp pointed at Zapu and said with a smile, Pirates are naturally to be caught. I heard that there are often pirates visiting your restaurant. You can eat delicious desserts while catching those pirates who have thrown themselves into the net. You can kill two birds with one stone. Isn't it wonderful? Zap, Lin Mo. Lin Mo didn't expect that Garp would do this. This energy that insists him to join the navy is very similar to the energy that Luffy insists on Sauron Sanji and others to join the pirates when he is looking for a partner in the future. 
Sure enough, they are grandparents. Forget it, let him do it. Lin Mo didn't intend to stay here any longer. Without saying anything, he walked directly towards the kitchen. Where are you going? Zap asked. Lin Mo replied indifferently, the kitchen. Zapu's eyes moved slightly, can you cook? Lin Mo's expression remained the same, and he said as a matter of course, no. Zap, Garp couldn't help laughing out loud, ha ha ha. After Lin Mo entered the kitchen, Carp is also going back to the restaurant. Zap stopped him suddenly. Carp, do you really want to stay here? Cap grinned, of course. After finishing speaking, he had already walked down the spiral staircase and returned to the restaurant downstairs. Zapu's eyes fell on the door of the kitchen again. What is the origin of this kid? Come to the kitchen. Lin Mo's eyes skipped over the dozen or so busy cooks and landed on Sanji who was washing dishes in front of the sink. Judging from the experience of signing in in Frost Moon Village, Sanji's progress tasks should account for a large proportion. Without thinking too much, Lin Mo walked towards Sanji. Feel someone coming. Sanji turned his head to look. At first glance, the kid who kicked Zapu just now is coming. Dazed for a moment, a dinner plate in Sanji's hand accidentally slipped down. With a click, it shattered. Sanji's face changed drastically. Ah, oops, I'm going to be scolded by that smelly old man. Sanji didn't expect Lin Mo to come to him. It's fine to look for it, but it actually caused him to break a plate. This pissed him off. Hey, what are you doing? Sanji said unhappily. Thanks to you, I broke a plate. Lin Mo laughed and said, I broke it with my own hands. Sanji froze for a moment, curled his lips and said, No. Lin Mo, what does that have to do with me? Ha, huh, Sanji knew he was wrong, so he could only swallow this unwilling breath, you all know how to bully me, those stinky cooks are like this, so is that stinky old man, even you, an outsider it's all, sooner or later, I will definitely impress you all. At this moment, Patty angrily pushed open the door from outside the kitchen and came in, complaining as he walked, the popper dares to come to Barati for dinner, he is such a fearless fellow. The busy cooks laughed together. Patty, you threw him out the back door again. Ha ha ha, it's really Patty's style. As for Sanji, when he heard that Patty threw a poor man who had no money to eat from behind, the action of washing the dishes in his hands stopped. Lin Mo looked at him indifferently. Based on what he knows about Sanji, this kid will definitely secretly take food to those who have no money to eat. After all, Sanji can't sit idly by and ignore hungry people. As predicted, Sanji secretly took two pieces of bread and a bottle of milk. When he noticed that Lin Mo was looking at him, he also gestured to Lin Mo to speak individually. Then, while Patty and the others were not paying attention, they slipped out of the kitchen. Lin Mo followed behind him. Sanji came to the back door deck. There was a starving, bony man lying on his back in despair. Without saying a word, Sanji put the bread and milk beside the man. Eat. Sanji sat next to him, staring at the man and said. The man turned his head and glanced at him weakly, tremblingly picked up the bread and milk that Sanji put beside him, and devoured it without hesitation. After eating, he burst into tears to Sanji. Thank you, thank you so much, I almost thought I was going to starve to death in this sea. Sanji grinned and asked, isn't it nice to have something to eat? The man nodded and smiled, yes, for the first time, I feel that having something to eat is a very happy thing. I really don't know how to thank you. You don't need to be grateful. Food is a gift from nature. You just need to promise me that your life will be rich in the future, and you don't waste food. Okay, I promise you. Yeah. Sanji nodded, turned and walked back. When he came up the spiral staircase, Lin Mo was leaning against the wall next to the stairs on the second floor. Watching Sanji walk by in front of him, he said, hot food is better than dry bread. Sanji stopped abruptly. Lin Mo's words were like stabbing a sharp knife into his heart. Hey, what do you know? Sanji couldn't help being angry. I also want to cook for those hungry people, but the food I make is terrible. That old man just doesn't want to teach me, I it's also very distressing. Hey, Lin Mo sneered, Sanji gritted his teeth angrily, you are laughing at me. What right do you have to laugh at me? As far as your understanding is concerned, why should Zapu teach you? What? Sanji trembled angrily, you fool, do you want to fight? As he said that, Sanji rushed towards Lin Mo and punched him directly. 
Lin Mo dodged sideways. Sanji slammed his fist on the wooden wall behind Lin Mo, and he stomped on the spot in pain. Lin Mo was speechless. It seems that this kid hasn't started to learn leg skills. Are you still fighting with your hands? The chef's hands are used for cooking. An excellent chef should use his legs in a fight. That's what happened to Zap. The same goes for future Sanji. It's just that he's enlightened too slowly. While Lin Mo was disgusted, he suddenly had an idea. Perhaps this is the key to the progress of this sign in task. Think of this. Lin Mo then said, Does your hand hurt? Sanji said angrily. Nonsense, of course it hurts. Lin Mo chuckled and said, Do you know why Zapu has been unwilling to teach you cooking? Sanji was stunned, and snorted coldly. Who would know what that stinky old man is thinking, you are an outsider, don't tell me you know why. I know. Ah, uh, Sanji couldn't believe it, are you kidding? How long have you known that smelly old man? How could you know? What is your aspiration? Hey, why are you asking this? Although Sanji was dissatisfied, he still answered Lin Mo honestly, I want to surpass that stinky old man, and wait for the stinky old man to go to sea to find Alb after a hundred years. Alb is the place that Sanji has always longed for. It is the place where the four seas meet. It is said that it has all the ingredients from the four seas. It is a paradise that chefs dream of. When talking about all BE, Sanji's eyes are bright. Lin Mo said indifferently. Sanji was brought back to reality immediately. What do you mean by being so perfunctory? A person who only knows how to complain all day, who has the right to talk about dreams. E.H. You fool. You don't know anything. Sanji clenched his fist and hit Lin Mo again. This time, Lin Mo didn't dodge. Hands are the most important thing for a chef, right? If you hurt them, you plan to cook with your feet. Sanji's fist stopped less than five centimeters from Lin Mo's face. The corners of Lin Mo's mouth curled slightly, and he continued, guys who can't even work hard are not qualified to talk about dreams. After finishing speaking, Lin Mo walked around, ready to walk around Barati and get familiar with the road here. Anyway, he said all he had to say. In his impression, Sanji is not a person with poor understanding. You should be able to understand his words soon. Sanji looked at his hands, then looked at Lin Muyuan's back, and couldn't help asking, what did you say to me just now? Lin Mo didn't turn his head back, and said calmly, I understand it myself. Sanji stared blankly at Lin Mo walking away, then looked down at his hands again. The past scenes came to mind. It seemed that he had never seen the old man Zapu fight with his hands. Anyone who came to make trouble, or teach the cooks who did something wrong, that smelly old man kicked them with their feet. Yes, hands are the life of a chef. How can you fight with your hands? Sanji clenched his fists and said excitedly, It's decided, from now on, I won't fight with my hands anymore. After finishing speaking, he began to meditate on the other words Lin Mo said. A guy who only knows how to bury his head and complain, and can't even do his best. Is he really such a bad person? Obviously he is working very hard too. In the past few months, he has been doing his best to wash the dishes and clean up for Bharati every day, why not work hard? Forehead, and many more. Suddenly there was a shock. Sanji sweated profusely. Ah, what the hell have I been doing these past few months? Didi, guide Sanji and gain Sanji's worship, sign in progress plus 20%, current total progress is 40%, Reward Shunpo level plus one, current Shunpo level is LV2. Single quote. Not long after Lin Mo left, the system's notification sounded in his mind. More comprehensive information about Shunpo also integrated into his mind, and his whole body felt much lighter. It seems that Sanji's understanding is still very good. Lin Mo expressed his satisfaction. But what about the worship? Why can it be counted in the progress task? Lin Mo was very puzzled by this point. However, the result is good on the line. Stretched, Lin Mo has come to the deck of the back door on the second floor of Bharati. The warm sun shone on his body, making him feel a little drowsy. Take a nap. Lin Mo took out a recliner from the system space, lay on it comfortably, and took a nap with his eyes closed. He had only been asleep for a few minutes. Not far away. A pirate ship flying an unknown pirate flag is slowly approaching. When Balati entered the range of the pirate ship, the turret fixed on the ship was immediately ignited by someone. Just heard a few, bangs. 
several cannonballs fired menacingly at Barati. This group of pirates wanted to sneak attack Barati. So the attack was launched from behind Barati. The sound of shells woke up Lin Mo who had just fallen asleep. Frowning slightly, he opened his eyes. The first thing Lin Mo saw was the black cannonballs that were getting closer and closer to him. Without further ado, Lin Mo immediately got up from the deck chair, jumped up from the deck, and kicked all the shells into the sea with Yi Kai. Dropped to the deck, Lin Mo stared blankly at the pirate ship that was hundreds of meters away, disturbing his sleep. Without hesitation, he pulled out Lake Toya from his waist and slashed at the pirate ship with one blow. Then he hung the sword back around his waist, returned to the couch and lay down, the moment he closed his eyes. The pirate ship suddenly split a flat cut, turned into two halves, and sank slowly to the bottom of the sea. There was a lot of wailing and screaming on the sea. Soon, everything returned to calm. Cheat, you're a liar. Sanji originally wanted to thank Lin Mo, because Lin Mo's words just now untied the knot in his heart. When he chased in the direction Lin Mo had gone just now. But I happened to see Lin Mo kicking the cannonball and splitting the pirate ship with a wooden sword in the air. He was so scared that he didn't dare to go to Lin Mo. Swallowing secretly, Sanji slowly moved his feet and stepped back. Back and forth, he trotted up. What Lin Mo kicked the cannonball just now is always in his mind. The more I think, the more excited I get. I couldn't help kicking my own feet eagerly. That guy Lin Mo is too powerful. He's about the same age as me. No, I can't waste any more time. With that said, he came to Zap's door. See Sanji again. Zapu said angrily, have you finished washing the dishes in the kitchen? Sanji bared his teeth and said with a grin, stinky old man, I have decided, I want to learn leg skills from you. Zapu was stunned for a moment, and then laughed loudly, ha ha ha, you still want to learn my leg skills. Don't think about it, do your job well. I will work hard, Sanji said seriously, I will also learn how to cook well. If you have more time, you can teach me leg skills. Zap stared at Sanji in a daze. Why is this kid different from when he came over half an hour ago? It seems that you've got the hang of it. Zapu frowned slightly and said, I'm not going to teach you how to cook. Sanji laughed and said, It doesn't matter, anyway, I work in the kitchen every day. If you don't teach me, I will learn by myself. I am not the Sanji I used to be. Old man, just wait for me, I will soon be on you, whether it's cooking or leg skills. Ha ha ha, it's just you. I don't think you can surpass me in your life, just obediently be your handyman. Whatever you say, anyway, no one can change my mind about what I decide. After finishing speaking, Sanji ran away quickly. Zapu's face, which was still smiling just now, immediately returned to calm. That boy Sanji, could it be that someone told him something? It's definitely not Patty's big fools. Besides Patty, the others and him, Zapu, who can enter the back kitchen, there is also a person he just gave the privilege to. Zap narrowed his eyes slightly. Could it really be that kid? The other sighed. Lin Mo slept happily for more than an hour, and the first thing he did after waking up was to pick up the wine gourd. The wine gourd is empty. When he left Shuangyu village before, he went to the tavern to buy a lot of wine but nearly eight days at sea. In addition to drinking and sleeping every day, he occasionally beats the sea kings who are overwhelmed and attack him. There are only two jars of special aged wine sent by Koshiro left in the inventory. I thought about it, he still gave up the idea of drinking the wine Koshiro gave him. Get up, return the armchair to the system space. Lin Mo yawned, smelling the faint scent of wine in the air, and came to the door of a room on the second floor that was dedicated to storing wine. Just in time, Sanji came out with a bottle of wine in his arms. When opening the door, I saw Lin Mo outside. Sanji was stunned for a moment. Ah, um, what are you doing here? Sanji asked hurriedly. Lin Mo stared at the wine bottle that Sanji was holding. How much is this? Here, five baileys, don't you want a drink? Sanji asked cautiously. Lin Mo said calmly, yes. Then I'll give you this bottle, and I'll get another one. Sanji smiled and stuffed the wine he was holding into Lin Mo's hand. Lin Mo, it's okay, Sanji said indifferently, in the future, if you want to drink, just tell me, we come here together, you go in and drink, and I'll watch out for you. Lin Mo smiled, 
This kid is very good at coming. He appreciates Sanji's kindness. But he is not the kind of person who will eat the overlord meal. Lin Mo touched his pocket. He took out a money bag containing a hundred baileys and threw it to Sanji. Sanji hurriedly took over. Hey, what are you? Drink money. After finishing speaking, Lin Mo directly opened the wine cork and took a sip from the bottle. The taste is okay. Then he poured the rest of the wine into his wine gourd. Return the empty bottle to Sanji. Getting ready to leave. Sanji hurriedly asked, where are you going? Hunting, Lin Mo said lightly. Sanji was stunned for a moment, then remembered about an hour ago when he saw Lin Mo kicking the cannonball, he suddenly became excited again, and hurriedly followed, and went downstairs with Lin Mo. As he walked, he asked, are you going to fight pirates? I saw you kicking cannonballs away with your feet and cutting off pirate ships with a single blow from a wooden sword just now. You are so amazing, Lin Mo, can you can't tell me, when did you start practicing leg skills? Lin Mo, this question seems a bit familiar. Lin Mo remembered, isn't this the question that Sauron asked him in Frost Moon Village back then? Didn't think much about it. Lin Mo replied to Sanji with the same words he had answered Sauron, it won't take half a day. Ha, huh, Sanji was shocked and almost dropped the wine bottle he was holding in his hand, is it a lie, you will be able to draw with that stinky old man in less than half a day. Believe it or not, Lin Mo still used the same answer to prevaricate Sanji. Sanji was stunned, and continued to follow Lin Mo's unstoppable pace, although it's incredible, you don't feel like you're lying, Lin Mo, how did you practice your leg skills? Can you teach me? Lin Mo seemed to see the progress of the task beckoning to him. But there are too many people in the restaurant, and now is not the time to guide Sanji alone. Come and see me tonight. After finishing speaking, Lin Mo walked straight to the door of the restaurant. Sanji didn't follow him anymore, his hand holding the wine bottle tightened involuntarily, and his body trembled involuntarily due to excitement. He means that he will teach me. That's great, I will definitely study hard, definitely. Hey, brat. At this moment, a table of guests who were waiting for food called Sanji impatiently, I ordered the wine in your hand, right? When he came back to his senses, Sanji immediately responded with a smile, yes, here we come. Sanji grinned as he uncorked the bottle and poured wine for the guests. As a result, after a long time, he didn't pour out a single drop of wine. Only then did he realize that this bottle of wine had been poured into the wine gourd by Lin Mo just now. Lin Mo came to the deck outside the main entrance on the first floor of Barati. A cargo ship that was originally parked next to his boat was replaced by a warship at some point. At this time, Cap is on the deck of the warship. Seeing Lin Mo coming out of Barati, Garp grinned and asked, Little devil, are you leaving? Lin Mo didn't bother to talk to him, so he jumped onto his small sailboat, untied the rope, and sailed towards the windless belt in the small boat. He is not leaving Barati. I just want to find some sea kings to fight, practice my hands and feet, and bring one back to Balati by the way. It was the same when I lived in Yixin Dojo. He will not eat and live for nothing. So it will take the prey back as a reward. Karp saw Lin Mo leaving in a boat. Immediately asked his subordinates to release a military boat, and followed him by himself. Karp and Lin Mo always kept a distance of 50 meters. He didn't pay attention at first. After sailing for nearly half an hour, he realized something was wrong. Little ghost, do you know where it is further on? Carp shouted towards Lin Mo's background. Lin Mo didn't answer him. Garp immediately accelerated his sailing speed, and when he was about to catch up with Lin Mo, he continued, there is almost no wind ahead. Once the boat enters, it will not move. Don't go any further. Lin Mo still ignored him and moved on. Garp scratched his head, and suddenly laughed. There are a lot of sea kings in the windless belt, and there are also many sea kings entrenched around the windless belt. You little brat, you are not enough for them. Gap between teeth, ha ha ha. Just when Cap's laughter just fell. Right in front of the two of them, a lot of dense bubbles suddenly popped up under the water, and then the water surface began to roll. The turbulent waves strongly drove the boat that the two were on. A huge sea monkey emerged from the center of the tumbling water splash, roared and slapped Lin Mo and Garp with its palm. Little Lin Mo, stand back. Garp bared his teeth and grinned, with a serious expression on his face. Lin Mo smiled lightly, 
he really didn't intend to make a move, and made a gesture of pleas to Karp. Garp jumped up from his boat, clenched his fists, grinned, and smashed the sea monkey hard on the head. A flash of lightning, the sea monkey's eyeballs protruded from the beating, then rolled its eyes, and fell to the surface of the sea with a, bang. The aroused water splashed in all directions. At this time, from behind him, another giant sea king frog appeared. Oops, kid, be careful. Garp yelled, he couldn't save Lin Mo in time. The giant frog opened its foul-smelling mouth, and a red, black, barbed tongue quickly rolled towards Lin Mo. Lin Mo glanced at it indifferently. He unhurriedly drew out Lake Toya, and slashed the sword seemingly casually. The giant frog's tongue stopped suddenly less than half a centimeter away from him. Not even a growl. The head of the giant frog was separated from his body just as he hung Lake Toya back around his waist. Garp looked at Lin Mo in surprise. Just when Lin Mo turned his back and was about to move on. A long black needle more than three meters long protruded from the mouth of the giant frog head that was separated from the body, and shot towards Lin Mo extremely fast. Garp was about to tell Lin Mo to avoid him. Haven't said it yet. Lin Mo turned his head slightly, and the long needle full of poison was less than half a centimeter away from his face, passed by, and shot into the sea water. Garp gaped in surprise. In addition to being able to kick against the red-footed Zapu, this kid also has superb sword skills, and now, he has a good grasp of knowledge and color. With such strength, no wonder he dared to travel alone at sea. Sure enough, he is a good seed, it would be a pity not to join the navy. Thinking of this, the smile on Karp's face became even stronger. He actually abandoned his slightly larger boat and jumped into Lin Mo's boat. Little devil, join the navy. I can make you stronger. Garp said with a smile. Lin Mo said with disgust. Go back to your own boat. Little ghost, if you don't promise me, I won't go back, ha ha ha, don't underestimate my perseverance. As long as you promise me, I will go back. Do not. Don't be so arbitrary. Being in the Navy has many advantages. As long as you follow me, you don't have to listen to the old guys in the headquarters. You can do whatever you want. As long as I'm covering you, no one in the Navy will dare to touch you. It sounds like this guy is serious. Lin Mo looked at him indifferently. Still the same answer. Not interested. Hey, don't be so stingy. Garp didn't restrain his expression at all, looking extremely disappointed, I really want to recruit you. Needless to say, Lin Mo insisted, I will not use my life to protect the so-called justice, nor do I want to rely on others to become stronger. I just want to be an unfettered traveler, that's all. The Navy model is not suitable for me, it's useless for you to say more, don't waste time on me. Garp wanted to say some more benefits to lure Lin Mo, but seeing the other party's unwavering gaze, he swallowed back the words. Really, Garp pretended to be regretful, it's your loss not to join the Navy. Lin Mo smiled and said nothing. At this time, the system prompt sounded in my mind. Didi, reject the invitation of the naval hero Carp, the sign in progress is plus 10%, the current total progress is 50%, the reward is the domineering level of the armed color plus 1, and the current armed color level is LV3. Single quote. The rewards for completing progress tasks are related to the character who triggered the task. The rewards he got from Carp, the increase in the level of armed color, was completely within Lin Mo's expectations. The improvement of armed color and knowledge color will not show off momentum. Therefore, only Lin Mo can feel it. Garp didn't realize that Lin Mo's strength had suddenly become stronger. After that, Lin Mo drove Garp out of his boat. Garp reluctantly returned to his boat, watching Lin Mo continue to sail. After thinking about it, he followed without worry. It was not until evening that the two returned to Barati one after another. Lin Mo brought back a big fish more than three meters long. He wants to take the Neptune class. Unfortunately, the smallest one can capsize him. Can only give up. Barati has limited rooms for staff accommodation. Basically a room for three or four people. Zapu arranged Lin Mo into the room where Sanji lived. That night, Sanji and Lin Mo came to the deck of the back door on the second floor as agreed. The faint moonlight shone on the two of them. Sanji couldn't hold back the excitement in his heart, and hurriedly said, Lin Mo, I'm ready, let's start. Lin Mo looked at him lightly. The current Sanji is too thin. 
it is completely incomparable with Sauron, who is strong and strong. Starting strength training directly, I am afraid that Sanji's small body will not be able to bear it. Lin Mo said directly, from now on, tie a 2 kilogram weight on your ankles, whether you are eating, working or sleeping, you are not allowed to take it off, until you get used to it, then increase it. Ah, Sanji was surprised, as this to exercise the strength of my feet. Lin Mo nodded lightly, and then, Sanji asked excitedly, and what else do I need to do? For example, practice kicking accuracy or something. Don't worry, first improve the strength of your ankles in the early stage and then practice other things. Lin Mo continued, if you feel that you have nothing to do, go study biological structures. Sanji was stunned for a moment, and couldn't help muttering, what's there to study? Lin Mo said indifferently, without the power of skill, it's just a mess of loose sand. After finishing speaking, Lin Mo didn't say anything more, bypassed Sanji, and went back to the room to rest first. Sanji stood on the deck in a daze, thinking about what Lin Mo said. The more I think about it, the more confused I become. Lin Mo's meaning should be to let him master the power of skill, but what is this skill? Does it have something to do with the biological structure that Lin Mo asked him to study? Sanji scratched his head, thinking about it all night, but still couldn't figure it out. The next day, Lin Mo ordered a breakfast at the restaurant. Garp, who was dressed in normal clothes, sat down at the table next to him just like yesterday, and ordered the same breakfast. Drinking early in the morning, I'm not very old, but I'm an alcoholic. Garp stared at Lin Mo who was eating and drinking next to him, and said with a smile. Lin Mo didn't bother to talk to him, and continued to eat breakfast. He was very puzzled. Obviously yesterday Cap had accepted his refusal to join the Navy. Why don't you go? Garp grinned and asked, when you were in Windmill Village, did you know a kid named Luffy? That's my grandson. Lin Mo said calmly, I don't know. He only stayed in Windmill Village for 10 or so days, and during that time Luffy hadn't been to the tavern, so they hadn't met. Hey, what a pity. Garp held his side face with one hand, and said regretfully, I thought you and Luffy were friends. What about Ace? Do you know Ace? Lin Mo looked at him speechlessly. What does this old fox want to do with these inexplicable words? I don't know, Lin Mo said speechlessly. Carp laughed loudly. Ha ha ha, it's okay, you will always meet in the future, and it's not too late to make friends again, ha ha ha. Just at this time, the door of the restaurant was suddenly kicked open roughly. A man with a fleshy face and a ferocious expression rushed into the restaurant with a group of younger brothers. Hand over that blonde-haired brat. The leading man shouted loudly. Ah, isn't that Crick's subordinate? Ha, huh, Crick, is he the most vicious pirate in the East China Sea recently? Why did his men come to Balati? I don't know, is the blonde kid he's talking about the one who served us just now? Hey, that kid is finished. In the restaurant, the diners were talking about it. There were also some who were afraid and did not dare to speak. Lin Mo continued to eat breakfast on his own. Garp looked more at the miscellaneous soldiers under Creek, and after thinking for a long time, he couldn't remember who this Creek was, Crick. Is it a pirate? Why don't I remember it? Instead, the diners at the table next to him reminded him in a low voice, Crick, this is the pirate who has emerged in the East China Sea. He does all kinds of bad things, and he already has 15 pirate ships under his command. 15 pirate ships. Garp touched his chin and thought for a while, then turned his gaze to Lin Mo, and suddenly laughed, what a coincidence, I just asked my subordinates to drive the warship away this morning, Lin Mo kid, what do you say? What should I do next? Lin Mo glanced at him speechlessly, it's up to you. Patty came downstairs with the food. I saw a group of people at the door immediately delivered the dishes to the corresponding guest's table, then rubbed hands and greeted with a smile, welcome, are you guys coming to eat? The leading man glared at Patty, grabbed Patty's collar, and said angrily, hand over that blonde brat. Blonde brat, Patty asked with a smile, so, the uncles are here to find someone, not to eat. Ha, huh, don't you understand what I'm talking about? The man's eyes widened, and he punched Patty's face with the other hand. Patty's face changed, and he grabbed the man's fist, and his entire aura changed, if you're not here for dinner, get out. Saying that, Patty kicked the man. The man directly drew a gun from his waist and put it on Patty's forehead. 
Patty immediately stopped the movement of his feet, his forehead began to sweat. At this time, Sanji came down slowly from upstairs with the dishes. Because there are weights strapped to the ankles. When he saw that Patty was pointed at the head with a gun, he stopped in fear. Brother Chang, I saw the blonde kid. The man's subordinate pointed at Sanji on the spiral staircase and shouted. HMPH. The man snorted coldly, shifted the muzzle of his gun to the stairs, and aimed at Sanji, Brat, if you want to blame, blame you for not messing with our boss's woman, go to hell. After finishing speaking, the man directly pulled the trigger. A bullet quickly passed through the restaurant lobby and shot at Sanji who was already too scared to move. There are only four words in Sanji's mind at the moment, ah, it's over. Just when the bullet was about to hit Sanji, a chopstick appeared out of nowhere and hit the side center of the bullet with great precision, deflecting the bullet off course, brushing Sanji's hair, and hitting the wooden wall behind him. Oh, so you have such a kind heart. Garp smiled and looked at Lin Mo who had only one chopstick left. Lin Mo poked up the last fried dumpling with the only chopstick left, and ate it in one bite, chewing and swallowing slowly. Seeing someone making trouble, the leading man shouted angrily, Who? Whose chopsticks belong to just now? Stand up for me. Lin Mo ended his breakfast with a final sip of wine. Hang the wine gourd back around your waist. Lin Mo got up and walked step by step towards the main entrance where the pirates were. Ah, what is that kid going to do? Don't go there, they are vicious pirates and will kill you. Little devil, go back and sit down. In the ears are the worried voices of the surrounding guests. Lin Mo continued to walk forward as if he didn't hear it. Garp looked at Lin Mo with a smile. He wasn't worried about what would happen to Lin Mo at all. On the contrary, those pirates are miserable. Brother Chang, I'll take care of this kid. A pirate wearing a blue turban held a machete and slashed at Lin Mo with a smirk on his face. Lin Mo turned sideways, easily dodging the blow that was full of loopholes. You're finished, brat. The hooded pirate immediately gathered his strength and attacked Lin Mo again. Lin Mo dodged twice casually, and hit the man's back hard with a backhand blade, knocking him to the ground. The leading man known as Brother Chang narrowed his eyes slightly, noticed the wooden sword hanging on Lin Mo's waist, and said with a sneer, You brat, I will send you to heaven today. After finishing speaking, Brother Chang aimed his gun at Lin Mo and fired several shots in a row. At this time, Sanji shouted anxiously, Lin Mo, be careful, get out of the way. Lin Mo quickly dodged all the attacks with Shunbu, appeared in front of Brother Chang with a stride, and kicked Brother Chang's knees with one kick. Losing his balance, Brother Chang fell to the ground. Smelly brat, do you know who I am? Brother Chang jumped up from the ground angrily, Little ones, let's go together, I want this brat to die without a place to die. Yes, Brother Chang. All of a sudden, there was a lot of noise inside the restaurant. I saw a large group of pirates rushing towards a ten-year-old child. Lin Mo looked at them indifferently. Move your feet. Then use a general attack to quickly and ruthlessly kick the waist, chest, ribs and other parts of these pirates. Soon, the group of pirates were kicked to the ground by him, rolling all over the ground in pain. Lin Mo glanced indifferently at the defeated subordinates all over the ground. They walked around them and walked towards the gate. Before going out, he left a sentence, as long as you find the right position, even if you don't have enough strength, you can still bring down the enemy. There was silence for a moment. The whole restaurant cheered. Wow, that kid is so powerful, he defeated so many pirates by himself. That group of pirates is too weak, Ha ha, this brat has two hits. But what did he mean by what he said before going out? I don't know, anyway, it was so exciting just now, ha ha ha. Carp was very surprised at the beginning, why didn't Lin Mo directly knock down those pirates with his sword or kick with Zapu yesterday, instead of kicking them with ordinary attacks? When he noticed Sanji trembling slightly on the stairs, reminiscent of what Lin Mo said just before he left, he immediately understood the reason, this kid is really interesting. Sanji wasn't trembling because of fear. He knew that Lin Mo's last words were for him. It was because I understood the meaning of that sentence that I was too excited to tremble. As soon as Lin Mo boarded the boat, the system's notification sounded in his mind. Didi, guide Sanji's kicking skills, sign in progress plus 20%, and the current total progress is 70%. Quote. Sure enough, 
there was no reward. But that's okay, only the last 30% of the progress is left. It seems that the mission on Barati's side is going smoothly. Lin Mo untied the rope tied to the deck, continued to sail in the direction of the windless belt. Evening, when he came back, the small military boat that had been parked had disappeared. In other words, Cap is gone. Lin Mo is very happy to lose an annoying guy. Get your boat tied up. Lin Mo threw the big octopus he brought back to the kitchen. When I was about to leave the kitchen. But a group of chefs led by Patty stopped at the door of the kitchen. Patty said with a smile. Lin Mo, I heard from the boss that you are only staying in Barati temporarily. I think you are very skilled. How about staying here for a long time? No, Lin Mo refused. I don't know how to cook. It's okay we can teach you. That's right, although we haven't seen your skill, it must be very powerful to be praised so much by Patty. Just stay, you have nowhere to go anyway. Ah, these guys are inexplicable, what's going on? Lin Mo said speechlessly, I am a traveler, and I have many places to go. It is impossible to stay in any place for a long time, and I am not interested in being a chef. If you have the time to keep me, you might as well work hard on your cooking, art. Ha, huh, is this rejecting us? You are too straightforward, at least be more tactful. Hello, what are you doing? Have you finished all the dishes ordered by the guests? At this moment, Zapu's voice suddenly came in from outside the door. The group of cooks, like a mouse meeting a cat, hurriedly returned to their respective positions and hurried to work. Zapu looked at Lin Mo expressionlessly, come with me. Lin Mo calmly followed him to the deck outside. After a moment of silence, Zapu said, thank you for the morning. Lin Mo said calmly, it's okay. Zapu continued, there is also the matter of Sanji, you enlightened him, right? Ah, chapter 31, although I don't know why you want to help that brat, thank you anyway. Fine, he he, Zapu smiled, I heard what they said to you just now, do you really have no intention of staying? Lin Mo said directly, no, Carp has already left, so when are you going to leave? Lin Mo thought for a while and replied, soon. Lin Mo just finished speaking. At the stairs, a cook who had just gone down to deliver food hurried up. Seeing that Zapu is here, he said anxiously, boss, it's not good, that creek with 15 pirate ships is here. What? Zap frowned slightly. He said he was going to settle accounts with Sanji and Lin Mo. HMPH, how bold. Zapu said displeased LY with a gloomy face, let's go. I'd like to see how this Crick can dare to come to Barati to make trouble. In Lin Mo's impression, when Crick and Zapu met head on, it should be when Luffy came to Barati ten years later. Why are you meeting me now? When he was about to go downstairs to have a look together, out of the corner of his eye, he suddenly caught a glimpse of a pirate ship that was heading towards Barati not far from the sea. This is, Lin Mo stared at the pirate flag of the pirate ship with some surprise. Behind the skull is a cross made of two bones, with a crescent-shaped upward beard. Isn't this the logo of the Whitebeard Pirates? The Whitebeard Pirates is a pirate group created by, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, who has the strongest superhuman shaking fruit ability. Judging from the current point of time, the Whitebeard Pirates are probably the strongest pirate group in the world right now. Lin Mo remembered that the main ship of the Whitebeard Pirates should be a large ship with a whale head on the bow but now it was a light sailboat that was heading towards Barati. From the looks of it, it should be one of Whitebeard's captains coming. Just don't know who is coming. Look back, Lin Mo didn't think any more, and immediately walked to the stairs. When he came to the restaurant downstairs, at this moment, the restaurant was completely silent. The guests who had dined in the restaurant before had already fled out in a panic. And Zapu, with the cook who had reported to him just now, and Crick and his party came face to face. Besides his younger brothers, there was another woman behind Crick. It was the woman who asked Sanji to wait and see yesterday. Just as Lin Mo expected, Crick's eyes widened when he saw Zap. It's you, you are the incomparable pirate who served as the captain of the chef, Redfoot Zap. I heard that you died in a shipwreck, but I didn't expect you to be alive. Zapu narrowed his eyes slightly, and said with a sneer, so what if I'm alive? It's nothing to do with you. I'm just a cook who makes a living from cooking. Crick was stunned for a moment, and then burst out laughing. Originally, his face looked like a monkey, but this smile looked even more like it. 
Ha ha ha. Crick laughed loudly. It sounds nice to say that you can only be a cook if you say that you make a living as a cook. Crick looked at Zap's prosthetic limb, and the smile on the corner of his mouth deepened. If you were healthy, I would still be afraid, but now you lose a foot, which means that you have lost your fighting power. To me, you are already it's no longer a threat. So what? Zap said with a serious face, I'm not a pirate anymore, besides, I still have these hands, so you can say whatever you want. Hey, Crick said with a smirk, red-footed Zap, you are a man who has entered the great voyage and returned safely. You should have a logbook that recorded the entire year of voyage. You just need to hand over the logbook to give it to me, and I'll let you go today. HMPH. Zapu snorted coldly, yes, I do have a logbook, but I can't give it to you. The logbook is the pride of all the companions who have sailed with me. If you give it to you, it will be worth a lot. A little too heavy. Creek's face darkened, and he clenched his fists and said, if that's the case, then I'll grab it. The voice just fell. Suddenly, a relaxed male voice came from the door of the restaurant. Oh, I finally saw a sea restaurant and wanted to have dinner. It seems that we came at the wrong time. A tall and thin man with a golden punk hair, a dagger on his waist, and a white beard pirate tattoo on his chest, appeared outside the main entrance with a few younger brothers. Lin Mo recognized the person at a glance. It's Pineapple Head Marco. In the white beard pirates, the real number two. Crick looked back impatiently towards the door. When he saw the tattoo on Marco's chest, he couldn't help but froze. This tattoo looks familiar. Hey, didn't you see our bosses here? One of Crick's men yelled at Marco and the others, why don't you have dinner, get out. How do you talk? Do you know who our captain is? One of Marco's subordinates responded dissatisfiedly. He wanted to continue arguing with that man, but was stopped by Marco. Xiaopeng doesn't need to quarrel with these ignorant people. Marco touched his chin and said with a half smile, I remember, it seems that no one has said the word to me for more than 10 years. It's really arrogant, boss, you don't need to shoot, let us teach them a lesson. As Crick's men spoke, they greeted their companions and surrounded Marco and the others. At this time, Zap suddenly chuckled. Creek frowned tightly. What are you laughing at? Zapu sarcastically said. As expected of the most active pirate group in the East China Sea recently, they even dare to bully people with white beards. What? Whitebeard? Crick then remembered that the tattoo pattern was the logo of the Whitebeard pirates. Oh no. Now he can't afford to provoke Whitebeard. Crick immediately shouted to his little brothers, stop. However, he was still one step too late. His men were already holding weapons and slashing at Marco and the others. You guys are really harsh, even bullying hungry people. Marco didn't panic at all, and the subordinates behind him all had smiles on their lips, rubbing their fists and rubbing their hands, eager to try. Marco said to Zapu lightly, Brothers are hungry, please help us prepare dinner for 15 people, thank you. Zapu smiled, nodded and said, Okay, no problem, but, you fight back, don't ruin my restaurant. Okay, then let's pull them out and fight. Marco grinned. Zap nodded, when he was ready to go to the kitchen. The cook behind asked worriedly, Boss, is it really all right? Crick is a pirate with 15 pirate ships. No problem, Whitebeard's people are very strong. Besides, this time, he is the number two member of the Whitebeard pirates, Phoenix Marco. It's easy to deal with a Crick. After finishing speaking, Zapu walked towards the spiral staircase. When he saw Lin Mo who was on the side of the stairs at the moment. He couldn't help but smiled again. Little ghost, you haven't had dinner yet, have you? Lin Mo glanced at him and nodded. Then you stay here to help me watch, and I will treat you to your dinner. I have money. I'll treat you to another bottle of good wine. Make a deal. Ha ha. Zap laughed and walked upstairs. Facing the attack of Crick's men, Marco and the others did not fight back at first but kept retreating until Crick's men left the restaurant and then shot them into the sea one by one. Crick didn't have time to stop his subordinates, and when he chased after him, all the subordinates he brought over were defeated. He was shaking with anger. The woman behind him couldn't help trembling in fright. Honey, what should I do? They seem to be very strong. Go away. Crick glared at the woman. The woman took a few steps back in fright. Marco smiled and said, What is a fierce woman? It seems that you are the captain of the big ship next to you. Let's discuss something with you. 
How about taking your people out of here now? As soon as Marco finished speaking, his men burst into laughter. Crick was so angry that he took off his coat, revealing a golden armor, and snorted coldly, Don't think you are a member of the Whitebeard Pirates, I am afraid of you, it's just that you went to the Great Root before me, I'm full of weapons, it's easy to kill you. Oh, it seems that you haven't gone to the Great Root yet. Marco smiled, I don't know if you, a frog in a well, are more capable than your breath. Come on, let me see your strength. Outside the restaurant, on the narrow deck, Marco's people alone occupied more than half of the area. Crick took out two guns at once, and even ten muzzles were exposed on both sides of the golden armor, go to hell. All of a sudden, countless bullets were fired at the same time, shooting towards Marco densely. Marco hooked his mouth, and immediately transformed into a pair of wings burning with green flames. Crick's bullets all passed through his body, piercing many bullet holes in his body. When he thought Marco was dead, those gun holes were quickly covered by Ching Yan and returned to their original state. Marco is fine, he is the owner of the bird fruit of the zoomorphic beast species. Is it a kind of animal type phantom beast fruit ability that is rarer than the natural type, or is it one of only five animals that can fly? Marco's ability is to wrap the wound with the resurrected blue flame, and then regenerate it, making the attack ineffective. His ability not only heals his own wounds, but even has a certain effect on others, which can increase the speed of healing. Therefore, as the first team captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, he is also the ship's doctor. It's actually a devil fruit user. Seeing that his attack was completely ineffective, Crick calmed down. Originally, he didn't intend to use this move, even if you are a user of ability, so what, I am the person who will dominate all sea areas in the future, today, I will let you see Lao Tzu's true force. As he said that, Crick took off the shoulder shield on his shoulders and pointed it at Marco. It's MH5, the most terrifying gas weapon. Mask, put on the mask. Do you know what happens when you use that thing? In the sea, even the crew members on the Creek pirate ship yelled in dissatisfaction. Crick smiled disdainfully. Shut up, idiots, fighting is fighting, and only victory is the goal. As long as you win, it doesn't matter what the means are, this is powerful, ha ha ha. Poison gas, Marco frowned slightly, and immediately flew towards Creek quickly. He knew that once the poisonous gas spread, it would affect many people. It must be stopped before the opponent releases poisonous gas. Because the distance is not far. Before Crick released the gas bomb, Marco chased him and knocked out the shoulder armor hiding the gas bomb with one blow. Crick was shocked. He didn't expect Marco to be so fast. Crick immediately caught the shoulder armor that hadn't flown far, merged it with his other shoulder armor, pulled out a gun handle from the middle, and extended a sharp point from the top, forming a big gun. This is his secret weapon. It is a super heavy war gun that weighs a ton. Go to hell, join this broken restaurant, and destroy it for me. Crick slammed his big gun at Marco. Marco dodged a blow with an easy leap. Although Creek missed anyone, he easily split the deck outside the main entrance of Barati in two. Marco's men immediately returned to the boat next to them, so they didn't fall into the sea. Inside the restaurant, Lin Mo frowned slightly, and suddenly appeared at the door of the restaurant stepping on Shunpo. Marco noticed him and immediately said, Little devil, go back to the restaurant, it's dangerous outside. Lin Mo didn't listen to him at all. His eyes were fixed on the small section of the stern of the boat that had sunk into the sea along with the broken deck. That's his boat. He didn't care how Marco and Crick fought. But once it hurts him. Even if it's just an insignificant boat. No, no. Lin Mo looked indifferently at Crick who was rushing towards Marco. Marco even stood in front of Lin Mo, trying to protect him. Lin Mo pulled out Lake Toya and walked around Marco. Facing Creek's attack head on. Little devil, step back. Marco was shocked. There was a flash of hostility in Lin Mo's eyes. A powerful sword force spread out from him. Only one sword. Crick's big gun didn't even touch Lin Mo's wooden sword, and was cut into two pieces by the sword energy. What? Creek's eyes widened. Ha, huh, Marco was taken aback. Even the people around watching the battle had their eyeballs protruding in shock. Lin Mo's expression was indifferent, and he struck again. The powerful sword energy directly hit Crick's chest. Crick rolled his eyes, and fell straight backward with a bang. His subordinates were all terrified, 
and wanted to step forward to check on Crick's injuries, but they didn't dare. It was the woman who crawled over tremblingly, pushing Crick, seeing that he didn't respond, he felt his pulse again. Immediately, his face turned pale, he covered his mouth and exclaimed, dead, dead. What, boss is dead, the boss was actually defeated by a child. Who is that kid, it's too scary. Not only can he cut off the big gun of the boss with one blow, but he can also kill the boss with one blow. He, is he really a child? It's terrible. If we become enemies with them, we will die too. Let's run for our lives. Creek's men immediately panicked and tried to escape by boat. The woman covered her mouth, looked at Crick, then at the boat that was about to leave, hesitated for a while, and left Crick, and hurried on board to escape with the crew. Marco didn't let his own people intercept them. Instead, he stared thoughtfully at Lin Mo, who was silent on the sea. What are you looking at? Boat, boat. Marco was stunned for a moment, and suddenly remembered that when they came, there was indeed a small sailboat tied to the outer deck. But now, there is nothing on the sea. The small sailboat has sunk to the bottom of the sea with the broken deck. No wonder the kid wanted to do it. Feelings are a disaster for one's own ship. Marco smiled and asked, what's your name? Lin Mo. It looks like you are only nine or ten years old. Ah, your sword skills are good, who did you learn from? Lin Mo glanced at him, said nothing, turned around and walked towards the restaurant indifferently. Marco looked at his back, smiled, didn't ask any more questions, turned to his brothers on the boat, and shouted, brothers, get ready and have dinner. Oh, here we come. The kid just now was too powerful, is he from this restaurant on the sea? I don't know, he's not wearing a uniform or a chef's outfit. He doesn't necessarily belong to the restaurant. If he isn't, I really want him to join our pirate group. This kid must be a very interesting person, ha ha ha. Marcos men entered the restaurant lively. Zap had the cooks put together the empty tables in the dining room and place 15 dinners on them. Marco and his party sat in a circle and started eating lively. As for Lin Mo, he was quietly eating his dinner at a small dining table not far away. At this time, several of Marco's men shouted at Lin Mo. Little ghost, do you want to come and eat together? You were so handsome just now, do you want to consider joining our Whitebeard Pirates? That's right, that's right, join our big family, dad is super nice. Lin Mo didn't intend to talk to them, and continued to eat his dinner. It was obviously just a simple dinner. But Marco and his party made the atmosphere extremely joyous. It's like having a party. They ate meat and drank heavily, and chatted loudly with wanton laughter. Not long after, they even sang the song Binks Wine that almost every pirate would sing. Even Baladi's cooks, seeing that they are not busy now, joined in. As for Lin Mo, it was as if they were not in the same world as them. Calm face, eating and drinking quietly alone. I was still thinking about the sinking of my ship. It seems that we have to find a way to get a new boat. Otherwise, there is no way to go to sea. At this time, Marco came to the table where Lin Mo was with a glass of wine, and said with a smile, Lin Mo, let's have a drink together. Lin Mo didn't raise his head, and picked up the wine bottle directly. Marco took the initiative to touch the wine glass to Lin Mo's wine bottle indifferently. Watching Lin Mo take a big sip of wine from the bottle. Marco drank the wine in his glass, and then laughed loudly, ha ha ha, I can't tell, you can drink so well. When I was your age, I could only drink drinks. Lin Mo ignored him. Marco simply sat down opposite Lin Mo, stared at him with a half smile, and asked, aren't you from this restaurant? Lin Mo hummed casually, and continued to grill the rice. Zep and Sanji came down the stairs together. Seeing Marco and Lin Mo sitting at a table, he couldn't help squinting his eyes. Without thinking too much, he asked Sanji to send the plate of meat on top of his hand to Lin Mo's table. Balati hasn't been this happy for a long time. Sanji put the plate of meat in front of Lin Mo, and said with a smile. Lin Mo glanced at him and said nothing. Zapu also came over, looked at Marco who was staring at Lin Mo, and asked, Are you Marco Phoenix, the first team captain of the Whitebeard Pirates? Marco withdrew his gaze, looked at Zapu, and said with a smile, That's right, I didn't expect that someone in the East China Sea would know me. Zapu smiled and continued. Aren't you supposed to be with Whitebeard on the main ship of the Whitebeard Pirates? 
Why did you bring someone to the East China Sea by yourself? Are you on a mission? Well, a small task, I will go back in a few days. By the way, thank you for the restaurant today. Hee <laughs> hee, it's not me you want to thank. Marcos' gaze shifted to Lin Mo again. Zapu followed Marcos' line of sight, and couldn't help being stunned. You mean, it was Lin Mo who solved Crick and the others? Marco smiled and said, you didn't even blink, you killed that guy covered in weapons in just two hits, what a kid. What, two hits? Zapu was surprised. Crick has fifteen pirates under his command. It can be seen that he is not weak, but he was killed in two hits. This. Really, Marco continued, Lin Mo, is there any place you want to go next? Lin Mo still didn't answer his question. Jap answered for him, he's a traveler. Traveler. Marco was slightly surprised, are you alone? N. Lin Mo finished the last bite of food, wiped his mouth, and replied calmly. Marco smiled and said, isn't it lonely to travel alone in this vast sea? Do you want to consider joining the Whitebeard Pirates? No. Lin Mo stood up, he doesn't want to stay here anymore. This lively atmosphere did not suit him. He was going upstairs to bed. See, Marco stopped him immediately, your ship has sunk. If you don't have a ship, you can't go anywhere. You may be more afraid of our identity as pirates. In fact, there are many kinds of pirates. We Whitebeards see the band of thieves as different from ordinary pirates. Daddy is the most broad-minded person in the world. He can tolerate everything and treat us as his son, his family. Believe me, as long as you meet Daddy, you will definitely will love Daddy. No, Lin Mo directly refused. I'm just a traveler, I don't need a home. I don't need family members and fetters, I appreciate your kindness, if there is nothing else, I will leave. After finishing speaking, Lin Mo continued to walk forward. In my mind, the system prompt sounded. Didi, if you reject the invitation of Marco the Phoenix, your sign in progress will be plus 10%, and the current total progress will be 80%, and you will be rewarded with plus 1 level of arrogance. The current level of arrogance is LV3. Single quote. Heard. Lin Mo couldn't help but pause. Although others can't feel that his knowledgeable color has improved. But he can clearly find that he can feel the breathing of people within a few hundred meters and even the breath of fish swimming in the water. It's just their heartbeat, he can't feel it yet. Seeing that Lin Mo stopped suddenly, Zapu asked strangely, what's the matter, kid? When I came back to my senses, I suddenly thought of something. Lin Mo looked back at Jaipu, and asked, is there any bounty for Creek? Zapu didn't understand, so he said, he has just emerged in the East China Sea, and the bounty is not much, it seems that there are only a few million baileys, what's the matter? His body is still outside. Lin Mo said calmly, the bounty is yours, give me a boat. Stunned, Zapu couldn't help laughing, it's really generous of you to exchange a few million baileys for a small boat. Money is not important to me. After speaking, Lin Mo turned around and continued to walk upstairs. Sanji hesitated for a moment, and immediately trotted after him. Hey, Marco said regretfully, is it because Marco is not charming enough? I can't even deal with a kid. Ha ha, Jay Poo laughed, that kid Lin Mo has a very bad temper, not just you, he even directly refused the invitation from Carp and me. Ha, huh, Garp, Marco was surprised, you're talking about Vice Admiral, the Iron Fist Garp. That's right, Zapu nodded and said, that fellow carp has been pestering Lin Mo for two days, and he didn't talk to Lin Mo. He left this morning. Fortunately, you came at night, otherwise you would meet carp guys, you're in trouble. Marco was silent and didn't speak anymore, his eyes could not help turning to the spiral staircase where Lin Mo's shadow had long since disappeared. Without much thought, he got up. Walk out of the restaurant. Zapu looked at his back, with an expectant smile on the corner of his mouth. Even the recruitment of naval heroes and the strongest pirates can be so calmly rejected, Lin Mo, what will your future be like? Marco returns to the boat alone. Immediately, he used the phone bug to call the Moby Dick, the main ship of the Whitebeard Pirates. Soon, the call was connected. Give the phone to Dad, hurry up, Marco said urgently. The person who answered the phone was startled, and quickly sent the phone bug to Edward Newgate, the Whitebeard who was drinking with the crew. Whitebeard picked up the phone bug, what's wrong with Marco? Are you in trouble in the East China Sea? Marco grinned and said, father, I met a terrible kid. You little brat, 
Whitebeard asked strangely, why is it so terrible? With only two swords, he easily killed a pirate with 15 pirate ships in the East China Sea. Oh, the strength is indeed not bad. Not only that, Marco continued, he also rejected the offer of the naval hero Garp. What, Garp? Whitebeard asked slightly surprised, the Navy wants to recruit that brat. That's right, we missed it with Garp. We didn't face each other. I heard from the owner of this sea restaurant that Garp pestered that brat for two days and didn't move him. That guy Garp is definitely not someone who would do such boring things. The white beard pondered for a while, and continued, what's the name of that kid? How old is it? His name is Lin Mo, he should be about 10 years old. Whitebeard was shocked. What? Are you only 10 years old? Originally, Marco recruited Lin Mo only out of appreciation for Lin Mo's strength and calm attitude. It doesn't matter if the other party refuses. But now, Lin Mo, this brat, was actually taken by the Navy. It happened that he was taken by the naval hero Garp who took the title of Lieutenant General and was actually stronger than the General. This is enough to prove that this kid is not simple. That's why Marco called Whitebeard to report the situation here. For Lin Mo's situation, Whitebeard was quite shocked. Now there is also the meaning of wanting to recruit him. But think about it. Carp pestered Lin Mo for two days but failed to deal with him, which shows that this kid's heart is quite firm and unshakable. Marco, did you invite him? On the other end of the phone, Whitebeard calmed down and asked in a flat tone. Marco said helplessly, Well, I was invited, but was rejected. He said that he is a traveler and doesn't need a home and family. It's really nerve-wracking. Ha ha ha, Whitebeard suddenly laughed loudly, Traveler, what an interesting kid, I really want to meet him. Inside the staff room on the second floor of Barati. Lin Mo just entered the room. Sanji ran over excitedly. Lin Mo Lin Mo, did you really kill that creek? Sanji asked with bright eyes. Lin Mo responded casually, yes. You are so powerful. Everyone is afraid of Crick. You are only about my age. Not only are you not afraid of him, but you also defeated him easily. Ah, I envy you so much. If only I could have your strength yes. How did you defeat him? Did you use a sword? But yours is a wooden sword, so it shouldn't be able to kill anyone. Did you use a kick? Ah, I'm so excited, Lin Mo, you and I tell me about the process. Lin Mo, is Sanji a chatterbox? Obviously he remembered, in pirates, Sanji's words should not be so much. Even if you talk too much, you still talk too much to beautiful women. How? I'm so bored, just when Lin Mo disliked Sanji. In my mind, the system's notification sounded again. Didi, appreciated by Whitebeard Edward Newgate, the sign in progress is plus 10%, the current total progress is 90%, and the overlord color level is rewarded plus one, and the current overlord color level is LV4. Single quote. Before Lin Mo had time to be surprised, why Whitebeard wasn't here, he somehow got Whitebeard's appreciation. A powerful force spread out around him, although only for a moment. But Sanji was stunned directly. Overlord color is different from armed color and knowledge color. When the level is raised, if there are masters present, you can feel it. This was the case when he was in Shuangyu village before, both Long and Koshiro could feel that his strength had become stronger. But this time, the improvement of overlord color is actually like the improvement of swordsmanship, the whole power spreads out at once, even farther than when it is upgraded to LV6 swordsmanship. Even downstairs in the restaurant, the original laughter and laughter came to an abrupt end. Marco's men and Barati's cooks all fainted on the spot. Only Zap and Marco who had just returned from the phone call with Whitebeard, were fine. That was just now. Marco was shocked. Is it domineering? Who did it? Zapu's face was not pretty, but he could feel that the arrogance just now came from upstairs. At this moment, there should only be Sanji and Lin Mo upstairs. Without thinking too much, Zapu hurried upstairs. Marco followed closely behind. When they came to the staff room, seeing Sanji fainted, Lin Mo was fine. Zapu asked solemnly, is it really you? Lin Mo. Lin Mo looked back at the two people at the door, and said calmly, yes. Zapu covered his forehead with one hand, and said with a headache, I never thought that you could be overbearing. Even if you can, you can't just let it go, it's too dangerous. I'm afraid he didn't do it on purpose. Marco said solemnly, 
it should be because his overlord strength has improved, and he exudes power unconsciously. Is that so? Zapu was surprised. The power that is emitted unconsciously is so powerful, what will happen if you release it with all your strength? Marco chuckled and said, I'm afraid both of you and I will suffer. Zapu was startled, and couldn't help but gasped, it's so terrifying. Lin Mo kid, Marco said, are you really unwilling to join the Whitebeard Pirates? Lin Mo said speechlessly, no, I just called my father, and my father really wants to see you. Lin Mo, that's the case, no wonder he suddenly got the task progress from Whitebeard. Seeing that Lin Mo didn't speak, Marco grinned and said, you will go to the Great Root next, right? Lin Mo nodded, yes, okay, when the time comes, if you see the Moby Dick, remember to come and see Dad. You and Dad both like to drink, and maybe you will become very good drinking friends. Marco said in a relaxed tone. Lin Mo nodded perfunctorily. Marco saw it at a glance, but didn't intend to expose him. Okay, then I won't bother you. My people have almost eaten, and it's time to go back to the boat. Really, I don't know when those guys will wake up. It seems that I have to carry them back to the boat by myself. Marco said as he walked, and quickly left the room. Jaipu stared at Lin Mo in silence for a long time before he breathed a sigh of relief. Forget it, let's close early today and rest. Finished. He also left the room. Marco took a lot of effort to carry all his men onto the boat. Immediately, he called Whitebeard again. Father, I probably know why Garp is so optimistic about Lin Mo's kid. He is not only good at swordsmanship, but also has awakened a very strong domineering color. Maybe, armed color he will also. The next day, Sanji woke up in a daze. What happened last night, he only remembered talking to Lin Mo, when suddenly there was a feeling of terror that made his heart palpitate, and after that, he didn't remember anything. Immediately jumped out of bed. At a glance, Sanji saw Lin Mo, who was drinking in the sea breeze, at the guardrail of the corridor outside the house. Dazed for a moment, Sanji immediately went out, came to Lin Mo, and hurriedly asked, Lin Mo, what happened last night? I fainted out of nowhere. Lin Mo didn't speak. Sanji continued, what about you? Are you okay? Lin Mo glanced at him and shook his head, it's okay. Sanji couldn't help but heaved a sigh of relief, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Lin Mo smiled, and hung the wine gourd back around his waist. At this time, Suddenly, a familiar voice came from downstairs. Ha, huh, what happened to the deck at the door? Did the pirates come yesterday? Heard, Lin Mo couldn't help but froze. Speechless in my heart. How come that cap guy is back? Lin Mo originally thought Garp went back to Windmill Village to find Luffy. The results of it. The old fox returned to Barati with a net of seafood early in the morning. Zap was repairing the deck outside with his cooks. Seeing that Garp came back, he said in a bad mood, it's just in time, that guy's head is worth a few million baileys, I don't want more, just give me baileys, and take that guy away. Quote. Garp turned his head to look at the stiff corpse next to him, scratched his head, and curled his lips, then who is it? Zap said sullenly, Crick, that's the captain of the gang that came to the restaurant yesterday morning to make trouble. Oh oh oh, I remembered. Garp grinned, yes, Zap, you can still kill this vicious pirate with a broken leg, ha ha ha, it's really old and strong. Zap, Zapu said speechlessly, I didn't kill it. Ha, huh, Garp raised his brows slightly, who is it if it's not you? Could it be Lin Mo? Ha ha ha. Yes, that's him. Zapu smiled with a smile on his face, Marco came here last night, and he witnessed Lin Mo killing Crick with two hits. Lin Mo initiated an invitation to board the ship. What? Garp's smiling face froze, his eyes widened, you mean the captain under Whitebeard, Phoenix Marco? Yes, it's him. Garp asked nervously, did Lin Mo kid promise him? Zapu shrugged his shoulders and said with a strange smile, who knows, he's upstairs now, you can ask him yourself. I sent an invitation to that brat first. Garp threw a net bag of seafood on the deck, and angrily walked towards the spiral staircase inside the restaurant. Zapu looked at Garp's back with a smile, and added a special sentence. Oh, by the way, Linmo can be domineering, you should have known about this for a long time. Stop. A look of shock flashed across Garp's face. Domineering color. That brat can be overbearing. See Carp stopped. Zapu continued. 
I really thought of it. That kid's domineering look is quite powerful, just casually revealed it, and stunned all my people and Marco's people. Garp. Garp didn't stay any longer and went upstairs immediately. After finding Lin Mo, without saying a word, he punched him. Lin Mo easily dodged by stepping on Shunpo. Garp continued to shake his fist. Little ghost, you will not agree to join the Whitebeard Pirates, right? Lin Mo, why don't you talk? Could it be that you really agreed to that stupid bird of Marco? Carp punched him again. No, Lin Mo was a little annoyed. Wrap the LV3 armed color on your fist. No more dodging. With a punch, it collided with Garp's iron fist. Followed by a powerful air wave spread from between his two punches. A look of surprise flashed in Garp's eyes. Because I know that Lin Mo is very strong. He used his strength to beat him. Result, the beating was not successful. He was actually resisted by this Lin Mo. Sure enough, this kid even knows how to arm himself. Possesses leg skills that are on par with Zapu, and possesses three color arrogance, and seems to be a swordsman. How many secrets does this brat hide? Carp is becoming more and more interested in Lin Mo. The two close their fists at the same time. In Lin Mo's mind, a system notification sounded suddenly. Didi, fight against the naval hero Garp, sign in progress plus 10%. Single quote. Didi, the sea restaurant Balati sign in task is completed. Congratulations to the host for unlocking Yubu and Lanjiao. The rewards are plus one Shunpo level and plus one Yekai level. The current Shunpo level is LV3 and Yekai level is LV2. Single quote. Moon step is a kind of stepping on the air with strong foot force in the six poses, which produces a strong air force, and can walk in the air like stepping on stairs. Lanjiao is one of the six postures that utilizes the rapid contraction and stretching of the leg muscles to create kinetic energy, and then quickly exits the leg to compress the air in front of the leg, rolling up a vacuum attack, like a sharp slash, killing the opponent's skill. Lin Mo frowned with the unlocking of new skills and the upgrade of Shunpo and Yekai. A powerful force spread out from the soles of his feet. He just stood there doing nothing. The deck he was standing on had his feet as the center, and countless cracks were cracked outward, just like a spider's web. Just heard a crackling sound of, click. The place where Lin Mo and Garp were standing collapsed into a big hole because of the crack. The two reacted very quickly. Immediately jump onto the undamaged deck next to it. That's why it didn't fall down with the collapsed deck. Sanji, who was secretly watching the battle from the side room, was shocked from ear to ear. Ha, huh, Garp was shocked. Lin Mo, what did you do? Lin Mo stretched his legs and shook his head. I didn't do anything. Garp's mouth twitched slightly. I believe in you. Lin Mo didn't say anything more. Indifferently walked around Garp. Garp looked at him and asked, where are you going? I'm leaving. Now that the sign in task here is complete, it's time to leave. What? Garp was surprised, are you leaving now? Garp followed immediately, and said as he walked, otherwise, why don't you consider joining the navy? Lin Mo said resolutely, I don't think about it. Sanji saw that Lin Mo was leaving. Immediately recovering from the shock just now, he hurriedly chased him out. Lin Mo, are you really leaving? Are you really leaving now? Sanji asked with a slight frown. N. Lin Mo responded lightly, when the three of them came to the restaurant downstairs. Sanji immediately ran to the front and blocked Lin Mo's way with his hands open. You said you were going to teach me leg skills, but you haven't taught me well yet, how can you leave now? Lin Mo. Lin Mo said speechlessly, when did I say I would teach you? Sanji was stunned, but in retrospect, it seems that Lin Mo never said that he would teach him. Yes, but didn't you acquiesce? Sanji said aggrievedly. Lin Mo looked at Zapu who was directing the cooks to repair the deck on the outer deck of the restaurant, and said, you already have a good teacher. Sanji bit his lower lip tightly, looking like he was about to cry. Lin Mo walked past him. When he was about to reach the gate of the restaurant, after thinking about it, he still said that sentence, all blue is real. Sanji's heart trembled suddenly, immediately turned back to look at Lin Mo who had gone away. He doesn't seem to have told Lin Mo about all blue. How is that guy? Correct. That night, Lin Mo asked him about his dream, and he seemed to have said it casually. That guy actually still remembers. It seems that you have made a good friend. Garp came to Sanji, grinning, and looked at Lin Mo's back with him. 
Sanji turned his head and glanced at Garp, the unwillingness and grievance on his face were replaced by a relieved smile, and he nodded heavily, yeah. Lin Mo came to the first deck. Tell Zap directly that you want to go. Zapu was straightforward, and asked his cook to prepare a small wooden boat for him to purchase. Looking at the procurement ship, twice the size of his original schooner. Lin Mo jumped up without hesitation. Open system navigation. Sailing to the next check-in destination. Haven't gone very far. On the deck behind Bharati, Sanji's voice suddenly came. Lin Mo, when we meet next time, I will definitely use the best ingredients in the world and make the most delicious dishes for you, for sure. Karp's voice also came over. Even if you can't be a comrade in arms, you can still be a friend. Lin Mo, next time we meet, we can eat delicious donuts together. Zapu then shouted. Little Lin Mo, I have nowhere to go in the future, so go back to Bharati, at least here, I can guarantee that you will never be hungry. Lin Mo didn't answer them, nor did he look back, he just waved his hand. Zapu and the others watched Lin Mo go away from the deck. At this time, a cook hurriedly ran over from the dining room and said anxiously, Boss, it's bad, there's a big hole in the deck on the second floor. What? Zapu's eyes widened, and he immediately looked at Sanji, what's going on? Because only Sanji, Lin Mo and Garp were upstairs before. Sanji turned his head and muttered, Lieutenant General Garp did it. Ha, huh, Garp pointed at himself, not knowing whether to laugh or cry, so I did it. Lin Mo sailed on the sea on Bharati's procurement ship. His next check in location is Rogue Town. Open the personal properties panel. Name, Lin Mo. Age, 10 years old. Check in location, Rogue Township, 0%. Physique, all attribute chakra. Domineering. Armed color LV3, Overlord color LV4, Knowledge color LV3. Skills, Fire Escape Dragon Fire Art Introductory, Swordsmanship LV6, Shunpo LV3, Yekai LV2. Six styles, Finger Gun LV1, Iron Block LV1, Shaving Unlocked Moon Step LV1, Haze Foot LV1, Paper Painting Unlocked. Weapon, Demon Blade Star Breaker, Lake Toya. System Space. 100x 100x 100 cubic meters. A general glance, Lin Mo put away the attribute panel. Speaking of Rogue Town, the first thing he thought of was former One Piece King Gal Di Roger. That was the town where Luo Jia was born, and it was also the place where he was executed. Therefore, Rogue Town is also known as the town of the beginning and the end. As for the famous landmarks in Rogue Town, it should be the execution platform where Roger was executed in the central square of the town. After all, the former One Piece Roger is the dream of many pirates. But most of the pirates who come to Rog Town will go to the execution platform to have a look. Therefore, Roger's execution platform is very likely to trigger the completion of a sign-in-progress task. When you arrive at Rog Town, you must go to the execution platform. As for who will meet in Rog Town then? Lin Mo didn't care. Just get the job done. No further thought. Lin Mo picked up the wine gourd and drank happily. Jep had prepared a lot of dry food and drink for him before he left Bharati. He doesn't have to worry about food at all. After that, they sailed at sea for three full days. Finally, in the early morning of the fourth day, I saw a small island full of houses and buildings. The new check-in location, Rogue Town, has arrived. Dock the wooden boat on the shore. As soon as Lin Mo's feet landed, the system notification sounded in his mind. Didi, congratulations to the host for successfully arriving at the check-in location, Rog Town. The check-in progress is plus 10%, and the current total progress is 10%. The reward is entry-level swordsmanship, and the armed color level is plus 1, and the current armed color level is LV4. Single quote. Information about swordsmanship and divine avoidance immediately appeared in his mind. Lin Mo couldn't help but his eyes lit up. God's avoidance is the sword skill of One Piece King Gal Di Roger. It uses a high-speed knife to swing a domineering flying slash to attack the target. When attacking, it will avoid the opponent's weapon and directly hit the body. This is quite a powerful sword skill. Although it is only entry level now, its power should not be underestimated. Lin Mo expressed his satisfaction with this reward. Enter the town from the port. Because it was still early, there was very little traffic on the street, and many shops hadn't opened yet. 
Lin Mo walked along the street all the way. Due to the intricate streets in the town, he lost his way after walking for a long time. Go down the steps in an alley. Lin Mo was about to ask someone for directions. In a blink of an eye, I found a tavern named after Gore D. Roger. Isn't this the tavern that Luffy will come to ten years later? Lin Mo frowned slightly, without saying a word, pushed open the door and walked in. It just so happened that he was almost running out of wine, so let's replenish it first. Go all the way down the stone stairs that rotate down. Soon, he came to the small wooden door in the lobby of the underground tavern, which was only half a person tall. At this time, there was only an old man with silver hair in the tavern, who was putting down the upside-down benches on each wine table, as if it was about to open. Hearing the movement at the door, the tavern owner turned his head and glanced. Seeing that it was a kid who looked only a few years old, he said blankly, Get lost, kid, this store is not the place you should come to. Lin Mo pushed open the small wooden door and walked in without hesitation. He sat on the high stool in front of the bar and said calmly, A bottle of rum. One Piece Roger once drank rum in this tavern. He wanted to taste the wine that One Piece had drunk. Seeing that Lin Mo didn't leave, but actually sat down in front of the bar, the tavern owner immediately stopped what he was doing, and walked towards him speechlessly, Little devil, do you know how to drink? Lin Mo nodded. The tavern owner chuckled and said, Then do you have money? I don't entertain the poor. Lin Mo directly took out a handful of Baileys from his pocket and put them on the bar. He glanced at Bailey on the bar. The tavern owner accepted it unceremoniously, and casually took a bottle of rum from the wine cabinet, and put it in front of Lin Mo. This wine is very strong. Don't blame me for not reminding you. A brat like you will get drunk after two sips. Lin Mo ignored him. He uncorked the bottle directly and took a big sip from the bottle. Indeed, as the tavern owner said. As soon as he took it in, he felt a strong spiciness accompanied by a mellow aftertaste, which stimulated his throat. Seeing Lin Mo's reaction in surprise, the tavern owner couldn't help laughing and said. How is it? I'm not wrong. This kind of wine is not for a kid like you to drink. Lin Mo put down the wine bottle, and couldn't help but grinned, it's really good wine, boss, two more bottles. Forehead, the tavern owner was stunned, are you sure you want two more bottles? Lin Mo nodded and continued drinking. The tavern owner took two more bottles of wine from the wine cabinet in confusion and put them in front of Lin Mo. Lin Mo opened the wine cork and directly poured the two bottles of wine into his already empty wine gourd. At this time, there was a sudden sound of footsteps outside the tavern door. A tall man with short silver hair, two cigars dangling from his mouth, wearing a big coat with the word, Justice, written on the back, and a man with ten hands on his back, pushed open the small wooden door and walked in. Old man, I'd like a glass of rum. This sound. Lin Mo turned his head and looked. At a glance, it was recognized that the person who came was Smokey, a small smoking man in the navy stationed in Rog Town. Smoker is still very young now, in his twenties, and should have just graduated from the Naval Academy. Beside him should be a girl named Dashichi who looks very similar to Kuina. But judging from the current point of time, Dashichi should still have not graduated from the Naval Academy. The tavern owner seemed to dislike Smoker very much, and said in a displeased tone. It's unlucky to see someone you hate early in the morning. There's no wine here for you. Get the hell out of here. Not paying attention to the bad attitude of the tavern owner, Smoker sat down next to Lin Mo with a cigar in his mouth. The business is so sluggish that even children are entertained. It seems that this tavern is not far from closing down. Glancing at Lin Mo who was drinking, Smoker smiled lightly at the hotel owner. Whether the door is closed or not is my business, and it's not your turn to make irresponsible remarks here. The tavern owner said angrily. You are not welcome here, go out get out of here. Ha ha ha, Smoker laughed, but had no intention of leaving here. At this time, outside the tavern, a sailor hurried through the door. Sure enough, Smoker is here. There is news that there are pirates in the port. Please go to the scene immediately. Heard, Smoker got up immediately and left the tavern without saying a word. And Lin Mo sighed. After filling the wine gourd, he drank all the remaining rum and jumped off the high stool. Seeing this, the tavern owner couldn't help asking, are you leaving? Lin Mo nodded lightly, left the money for the drink, and left calmly. 
just walked out of the tavern. A boy with a green coxcomb head ran past him with a swish. Was that Bartolomeo just now? Lin Mo didn't expect to meet such a shameless guy so soon. Bartolomeo is Luffy's super fan after going to sea in the future. Before he became a pirate in order to chase stars, that guy was once the leader of the underworld with as many as 150 streets. In short, this is a guy who is very troublesome once you get in touch. Lin Mo didn't know where Bartolomeo was going to do early in the morning. Not interested in knowing either. Next, all he had to do was visit the scaffold where Roger was executed. Under the guidance of some townspeople, he soon arrived at his destination, the central square of the town. Looking at the execution platform tens of meters high, Lin Mo climbed up without thinking too much. As soon as he stood firmly on the square execution platform, the system's notification sounded in Lin Mo's mind. Didi successfully climbed to the top of Roger's execution platform, the sign in progress plus 10%, the current total progress is 20%, and the proficient level of avoidance skills will be rewarded. Single quote. In an instant. There are more advanced information about God's avoidance, which appeared in Lin Mo's mind. He hadn't had time to take a closer look. Hey, little brat above, get off the top right away. This is a special execution platform under the jurisdiction of the world government. If you don't want to be arrested, come down right now. Under the execution platform, a sailor shouted at him with a loudspeaker. Heard, Lin Mo looked down at the people under the execution platform. Some townspeople had already surrounded them. Look, there's a kid on the execution platform. Who is that? I don't know, I haven't seen it before. By the way, how did he climb up? Everyone was talking. Lin Mo didn't want to draw too much attention here. Although it's just a little height to jump directly. But he is still a 10-year-old child after all, and in the eyes of ordinary people, it is impossible for him to be able to jump from such a high platform without incident. So, to keep a low profile. He could only slowly climb down from the iron frame next to him. Smoker happened to come back from the main street with a team of sailors and a group of newly arrested pirates. When he saw Lin Mo climbing down on the iron frame of the execution platform, he couldn't help being slightly stunned, isn't that the brat in the tavern? It was also his inadvertent trance. One of the captured pirates immediately slipped a small pistol from his sleeve and shot Smoker with a smirk. Smoker reacted very quickly. He sideways avoided the blow, and quickly snatched the gun from the pirate's hand. At this time, there was a sudden exclamation in the square. Ah, it's over, that kid is going to die. Who will save him? Come and save that brat. Smoker looked for his reputation. I saw that the bullet fired by the pirate just now was shooting towards Lin Mo's position at high speed. Even if he uses the ability of the smoke fruit to stop it now, it's too late. Lin Mo stared at the bullets that were getting closer and closer to him in an extremely speechless manner. It was easy for him to dodge the bullet. But even if he dodged it, the bullet would hit the frame of the execution platform directly. There is a high probability that the execution platform will fall because of this wave of attacks. And his current position is still 10 meters above the ground. A normal child would either die or be injured if he fell. If he landed unharmed, he would surely attract attention. But if he blocked the bullet directly, the result would be fine. In short, no matter what his choice is, he will inevitably become the focus of everyone's attention. Obviously he wants to keep a low profile, but why doesn't he always give him a chance to keep a low profile? Resignedly, Lin Mo grabbed the iron frame of the execution platform with one hand. Overlay the arming color on the other hand. In front of people. Just grab it. Easily grasp the bullet flying at high speed in the palm of your hand. Then, the audience was dumbfounded. After a few seconds, the exclamation sounded again. Ha, huh, true or false, liar. Oh my god, am I blind? That brat actually catches bullets with his bare hands. That bullet must be fake, right? How could someone catch the bullet with bare hands and be fine? Impossible, impossible, I can hear gunshots, this bullet cannot be fake. The pirate who shot was startled with cold sweat on his forehead, and said in disbelief, how could this be? My bullet is processed by a special method, and its power is several times stronger than ordinary bullets. Who is that guy? What? Smoker stared blankly at Lin Mo's arm that had returned to its original state. 
very shocked. That kid, did you use the armed color just now? Lin Mo, who is still hanging on the iron frame, has become the most beautiful boy in this square at this moment. In this case, there is no need to continue to install. When he let go of his hand, jumped directly from the 10 meter high shelf, and landed firmly on the ground. Out of the corner of his eye, he inadvertently caught a glimpse of a certain coxcomb haired boy staring at him excitedly among the crowd in the distance. Forehead, Bartolomeo, why is that guy here? Lin Mo was slightly taken aback. Suddenly there is a bad premonition. Without thinking too much, I immediately found a direction with few people and walked away quickly. Smoker saw Lin Mo running away. Instruct the men who are still in shock to take these pirates back. Then he quickly chased in the direction Lin Mo was running. That kid is definitely not an ordinary person. He must find out the identity of that kid. Lin Mo knew that Smoker was chasing him, so he deliberately walked into those alleys leading in all directions. As he thought, soon he was ditching Smoker. It was too high profile just now, so it can't be too conspicuous in the future. Lin Mo didn't want countless pairs of eyes staring at him wherever he went. When he was thinking about where to go next, a weapon shop specializing in selling swords fell into his sight. Isn't this the weapon shop where Sauron bought knives in Rogtown ten years later? Actually came here. It seems that Yuduru, one of the three generations of demon swords, and one of the fifty-one craftsmen of good fast swords, are in this shop. Now that you're here, let's go in and have a look. Thinking of this, Lin Mo stepped into the weapon shop without hesitation. What? It turned out to be a child. The owner of the weapon shop, selling a knife, was about to welcome the customers with a smile. When he saw that the person who entered the door was a child, his face collapsed and he muttered dissatisfiedly. Lin Mo casually glanced at the swords and weapons hanging on the wall, and his eyes fell on the three sword barrels full of swords placed in the corner. Seeing that Lin Mo seemed interested in those bargains, he said impatiently. There are all the cheapest knives in the bucket over there, Bailey's each. If you want money, just pick one. If you don't have money, get out. Lin Mo ignored him, and walked directly towards the three sword barrels, intending to find out the three generations of ghosts to have a look. When he just walked to the sword barrel, before he started looking for the sword, a slender figure who had just passed by the door of the weapon shop caught his attention. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.